When construction sites are not managed properly, runoff and sediment can enter nearby waterways causing impacts to aquatic life, particularly fish and fish habitats. DPI Fisheries works closely with councils to minimise these impacts. Poor erosion and sediment control on construction sites can reduce water quality, making the water cloudy and increasing nutrient levels, smother fish spawning sites such as gravel beds, aquatic plants and snags, and cause high sediment loads which can infill refuge pools. All of these effects impact on fish and their habitats and can ultimately reduce the success of your weekend fishing trip. For guidance on best practice erosion and sediment control measures for works near or within waterways, councils should refer to relevant publications such as Landcom's Blue Book or the International Erosion Control Association guidelines. Key measures to reduce the risk of sediment entering the waterway include staging works to minimise soil disturbance, timing works for dry weather, particularly high risk and bulk earthworks, ensuring clean water from upslope of the site is diverted away from the work site, capturing and slowing water within the work site to avoid erosion, and preventing sediment from leaving the site. Erosion and sediment control plans should be adaptive to cater for various stages of a project. Throughout the project, the weather forecast should be closely monitored as additional controls may need to be installed before rain or when the work site has been vacated, such as on weekends. In-stream controls such as silt curtains and hydrocarbon booms may also need to be secured before and checked more regularly during intense wet weather events to prevent them from being washed away. At the commencement of each day, erosion and sediment controls should be reviewed and adapted to suit the day's activities. Works crews should consider having a dedicated erosion and sediment control champion on each construction site. This person would monitor weather forecasts, ensure controls are in place and are working effectively. Common erosion and sediment controls include diversion buns and contouring, which can direct surface water away from the work site and slow down water velocities. Silt fencing, check dams and sediment traps, sediment basins to hold and treat water from the site, mulch blankets to provide raindrop protection of bare soil and mulch bunding to trap sediment and coconut fibre logs, jute matting, sandbags and plastic sheeting to prevent sediment from leaving unstabilised areas. Another source of sediment on work sites is stockpiles Stockpiles should be located away from waterways and concentrated flow paths. They should be well compacted or covered by an impermeable barrier and adequately bunded to prevent soil loss. It's important to note that in-stream silt curtains are a last line of defence and efforts should be made to capture sediment before it enters the waterway. Where silt curtains are required, they should be installed as closely as possible to the sediment generating area and parallel to the bank to prevent impacts on fish migration. It is also important to prevent pollutants from entering the waterway. This can be achieved by ensuring all machinery is degreased and regularly inspected for leaks, refuelling is undertaken away from the waterway, and plant and equipment are bunded and hydrocarbon booms are in place. Controls must be regularly checked and maintained. This involves replacing or fixing ineffective controls such as torn sediment fencing and refloating snagged hydrocarbon booms, removing trapped sediments so controls are ready for the next rain event, relocating or adding new controls, and ensuring controls are removed once the site is stabilised, noting that this may be some time after the completion of construction works. Temporarily disturbed areas should be rehabilitated as soon as possible. Planting of lamandra in these areas is recommended due to its excellent ability to hold soil and withstand high flows. For more information on best practice erosion and sediment control measures, please consult Landcom's Blue Book or the IECA guidelines, or contact your local DPI fisheries manager.